My name is Karina LeBlanc. I'm the president slash general manager of the Portland Thorns. And I am not only a huge fan of She Flies, but supporter. And I think it's so important for our community, for the young girls in, our, in Portland and the future generations. So I, I started soccer when I was a little later. I moved to Canada when I was eight. And uh, I didn't even know sport was going to be what I ended up doing. But I got invited at a sleepover to play soccer the next day and my life changed. It led me to five World Cups, a couple Olympics, winning an Olympic medal, playing professionally in this great city of Portland and just living a dream life. Um, so yeah, sports has made me who I am today and I, I wouldn't be who I am without it. The question is, did I ever think about quitting? I remember I tried it for the U15 like ODB team and we're all in their vans and driving and we're like, whoa, we're gonna go make the team. And at the end of the day, there was a list and everybody, every single one of my friends was on there but me. It was devastating. I was just about to turn 15 and I just felt my life was done. And I remember my dad pulling over, us over in the car and being like, what are you gonna do about it? And being cut was the best thing that ever happened to me because the next year I did like 15 minutes more every single day, before practice, after practice, in the garage, sometimes in the house. And it helped me understand that this was my dream and nobody was gonna take it away from me. So. I, I tell that story because it's relevant to anything in life. No matter what you do, if you have a vision clarity of who you want to be, dedicate your time to it. And that next year, I tried it for a year older and I got called into the full national team. While everybody was talking about mortgages, I was trying to figure out who to take to prom. But if I hadn't been taken, if that goal and dream hadn't been taken for me, I probably would never be here today. So did I think about quitting? Yeah, but I refused to let somebody else tell me who I was going to be. Probably the most influential person in my career was my coach. He actually only coached me for a couple years, but I remember it was after we won the Olympic medal, and he said to me, if you think your purpose on this earth is to kick a soccer ball for a country, I failed you. And it threw me, because I'm like, what does that mean? Like, helped me understand that like this game was a platform for me, and I had a responsibility to give back to it. And I think that's kind of led me to who I am today, but it's been a lot of people seeing in me what I didn't see in myself, and help it helping open up doors for me. I think the game helped me understand who I was meant to be on this earth, and it helped me understand my purpose on this earth. Um, I think the legacy of what my teammates and I were able to do in our country um, in inspiring the next generation uh, of players. But I think I'm just most proud of just like the people I've met along the way and how they've inspired me. It's important for girls to have role models in sports because they need to see who they want to be. We live in a generation and age where you're scrolling through and you think that's who you're meant to be, but you don't even know the difficulties that person's going through. You don't even know the reality, the photoshops. When you have role models that you can come to like at our home games and you can sign the autographs and you can see the women and players struggling and then getting right back up and fighting, that's the importance of what I think our team and seeing female sports are. Like growing up, I didn't have that right in front of me and I had to dream it or I had to make it happen, and you'd see it every four years in the Olympics. The excitement right now is that it's in their backyards, and it's so important because you have to see it to believe it. Men need to be allies. They need to open up the doors that, you know, as women, we don't get sometimes. They need to be the supporters. They need to be the ones yelling and kicking and screaming instead of the women doing it. You know, I've had some, so many influential men in my life who've seen in me what I didn't see in myself who opened up doors and created opportunities for me that I didn't think were possible. And I think when you can surround yourself with like-minded men who understand the power of what women can be, I think that's gonna be the game changer. Uh, my decision to come back to the Thorns. So in 2013, I, I was uh, that player who, this was my dream, this was better than a dream. I played in World Cups and Olympics. I'd been through two folded leagues. And I remember the first game day like it was yesterday. You know, walking out, feeling the energy of the fans and it was week in and week out it, and that's what I keep saying this was my dream come true because it wasn't every four years and the fans were so they loved it and you saw the power of the game in our community and so for me coming back here it was just one of those things where as I said to you earlier I think as a player I always felt there was a responsibility to give back give back to the game that gave me so much and this was the opportunity to do it because I don't think there's a better community base. There's no better fan base. This is the dream. It was an opportunity to come in and use all my experiences as a player to make this the standard. And that's what we're striving for. We will, and we have been, 
and we will be the standard in our game, and, and there's no other place like Portland. Like, I never thought that 10 years ago, when I played here, I would come back and be able to be the president and general manager of this club. It wasn't even a dream of mine. Didn't even think of it. And now what's great is that I'm able to have these opportunities and conversations with, with players and being like, hey, we need you to stay in the game in any aspect. You know, the, it used to be you could be a coach, but not in this league. Now you can be a coach. You can be a general manager. You can come be a director of operations. You can broadcast. It's endless. And that's what's exciting about me being in this position is that it's created a pathway that others are like, hey, I can do that. And I'm proud of that. One of them should replace me, and I've told them that. That would make me proud. I think for me in my position, one of the, the parts that more people bring up to me and I, it makes me understand why it was important for me to be in the position I am is that representation mattered. And to be a woman of color, a minority, to be in such a position of influence, I don't take that lightly. Because I know it's not only for my daughter, but it's for the young girl who just sees herself and says, what do I want to be in this life? And sees me in this position and says, I can do that. I definitely recognize that and I own it and I appreciate it and I'm grateful for it. As an athlete, you learn that you just don't want to be average, period. You don't want to be average at anything. And I think I've taken that into everything I'm doing. Um, I'll probably <laughs> be harder on myself than I need to at some times and that's just what you learn as an athlete because you just always want to be the best. But it's given me the principles, I think, to, to find success in here. It's also given me the experience that I, I actually know what the athletes or I understand, I shouldn't say I know what they're doing, I understand what they're feeling, their frustrations, like what they need and want. So I'm able to take that into you know the boardroom and have conversations of like, we need to think about it this way and that way. But I think it's just, um, it's uniquely special. It just, sports has taught me so much in life and I'm just trying to apply that, that, that idea of like being extraordinary in everything you do. It's just something like my personal life, my husband probably is just like, come on, we can just be average today. But yeah, I mean, I think it's made me the mother that I am and the wife that I am and the general manager president that I am, but also the friend. It, 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 it's, it's at the core of who I am. The best part about being a mom. So my journey is I had a heart, I had a heart failure right after I gave birth to my daughter. And um, there was a chance, there was a time I, in the moment, I didn't know if I was gonna make it. And it changed me in that moment. Cause I was, she was a week old and I was like, I just wanna be here for you. So the best part about being her mother is just being here. And every day we, we get, and she said, good morning, mom, or I'll go to work. She loves what I do. You know, she's like, are we gonna go see the team today? And she calls them my friends, my friends. So I think the best part about it is the opportunity that she's, she gets, that every day she's surrounded by the most phenomenal women who inspire her. She doesn't even know, but she thinks that's normal. And so for me, my why has always been to be her shero every day in all of my actions and decisions I make in this office or on the field or just for her. It reminds me every single day why I do what I do and that's because of my daughter. I think creating the safe space and opportunity um, for all young girls is important. I didn't even know I was going to be an athlete because where I grew up in the Caribbean, it really wasn't there. And I had to move to Canada to understand that this opportunity was even something. So I was that girl who didn't even know I could. And once I got it, I was able to take off. And I think what She Flies does is that it creates that opportunity for the young girl that doesn't know that it could be there, or it's a reminder for those that have the opportunity and the privilege of those opportunities to know what's possible. For those watching, I want you to take away, to be boldly yourself. Um, it's not always easy. It's not meant to be always easy, um, but your setbacks set you up to be a better version of yourself, and it's to embrace it, enjoy the process, but just know that the end result may not be what you wanted it to be, but it'll be exactly what it's meant to be for you. And just accept it and embrace it and enjoy the journey. If I think of different moments of winning a championship here or stepping on the podium at the Olympics and seeing my flag rise, all of it, it wasn't the outcome. It was the process that you look next to people and you're like, we did this together. And to together we were connected on something bigger than ourselves. 
And that's, that's, that's the goal, is finding people to surround yourself with and connect on something bigger than yourself. That's the sweet spot.